fun part of the traveling alone thing because when I came back from Korovo and I was in the port I was gonna walk to the campsite and a guy just stopped by and offered me a ride to the campsite <laughs> I just got a call that uh, we could go and travel around the island because the weather is good so basically I'm just over here right now chilling in the middle of the street I'm waiting for my new friend from Flores I think this is just one of the most beautiful places I have seen. The guy who picked me up from the port today, first he dropped me off at a very super nice place with those waterfalls and stuff and after that he brought me down to the village but in between we stopped to see a couple of his properties which is by the way right up there so the view is amazing, it's like between the mountains from one side and the sea the other side. Also he told me that this beach right behind me is the best beach for surfing. So we are just gonna walk to a waterfall which is supposed to be like a 90 meter waterfall and apparently it's the only waterfall in which you can swim here on uh, Flores. Nobody's happy there. Everybody got wins. This is it. It's very simple. This is all my mess. It's kind of cute, you know, with all this wooden atmosphere. Right now I am in Ponta Delgada on a campsite. I just arrived here because the person with whom I came from the place where I camp advised me that over here in Ponta Delgada the view from the campsite is amazing and it's so nice so i just wanted to come and check it out we are gonna do the hike from ponta delgada back to the place i am staying at the trail is like 21 kilometers and it's gonna take eight hours so it is 12 o'clock should arrive back to the campsite at eight in the evening <laughs> the funny or maybe not that funny part is that there was a huge storm last night and you just kind of have to like cross rivers and waterfalls that village over there is where we started the hike and we came all the way through these little hills it's been like three hours since 
I left that village, so I guess I still have like five more to go. There is this very cute little viewpoint and down there is like another bay. I haven't met a single person and now this is the part where the hike is kind of like crossing the village and there is no one like this is crazy but it's empty look by the way if you are talking about people there are apparently around three and a half thousand people living on the island. I think this is somebody's roof of the house, but look. There is also some kind of a museum. Now this is something interesting because here in the middle of the trail there is this tiny cemetery and uh, I don't know, there is literally nothing. I think it's the middle of the trail. I should be done in like two and a half hours. It's full of caves. The weather was extremely good the whole day. But now it started to rain. Well, it doesn't matter that much, I guess. Look at those guys, the birds. There are a lot. Maybe this is some kind of a farm or something. I'm kind of matchy matchy with them. Blue. That is a place where they make uh, cheese. I hope it's not gonna rain anymore, but it's cute. See, the trail is just like coming. There's the main road, and it's just like coming around like these hills, and then you come back and up here. Yeah, but it does look pretty with all these um, clouds in the background and the flowers. But over there, it's raining a lot. The trail took me almost exactly eight hours and now I just had to walk back to the camping, which is like 10 more minutes maybe. I'm super excited to take a shower and after that I'm not sure if I'm gonna have any energy to go out to eat, probably not, so... But there is one thing I want to visit here in the town. It's actually quite near the campsite. Since the Azores had a huge whale butchering tradition. Yeah, it's giving some creeps, but it is a part of the culture, I guess. This uh, whale factory kind of closed in 1980. Now it's just kind of a museum. Look at the rainbow. And that's the veil factory. When it comes to whaling, the first task was to scan the ocean and find the whales. And in the language of the whalers, whales were never fished or hunted, but the whalers had to lower the boat to get the whale. One of the most important things obtained from the whale was the whale oil. The whale oil had particular qualities and it was mainly used in home lighting since it burned with a very clear smokeless flame and with a very little smell. So 
I am already back to the airport and I'm gonna be flying back in like an hour I'm already feeling nostalgic, I haven't even left yet Yeah, as they say, it's always about the journey, not the destination So it was a fun trip That's it, I guess